We're going to take a look at a super cool tool that I've been using for a long time. And I would say if you did a poll of web developers, probably 99% of them also use this tool. And it's a tool called Firebug. And it's used within the Firefox browser. And it is another reason why a lot of people tend to use Firefox as their default browser. So let's install this tool in the browser so you can get a taste for what it can provide you. We'll go out to my browser resources page and within this page, which you can get to by clicking on resources and clicking on browsers, I'm going to go right here to the Firebug link and I'll click on that and go ahead and install Firebug. And what Firebug allows you to do is install it real quick, just like any other Firefox extension, but its capabilities are pretty expansive. So I'll click Add to Firefox. Now notice it says no restart on this one. Some of the newer Firefox extensions don't force a restart. They go ahead and install the extension without you needing to close Firefox and reopen. If it's an older extension, usually you'll get a Restart Now button when you go to Install, and it has to close up Firefox and reopen. And if you're installing a bunch of them in a row, that can get very annoying. So it looks like this extension has gotten a little bit larger than it used to be, and there's a lot of information in here, so that's why you're seeing this. And what we're going to do is install it. I'll open it up. And once it's installed, we're going to get a little bug looking thing that installs up here right where the rest of my little pieces are. So I have an install now button. I'll go ahead and click it and it installs itself. So you can see how quick it was. It's been installed successfully. So I'll close that up and guess what? There's my little bug. That's our fire bug. So once it's installed, you can see when I hover on it, it says deactivated. So I'm going to click on that. And what I need to do is pop it open down here. So it's all set up right now. What we have is a variety of different tabs here. So if I click on console, this is a JavaScript console you can use when you're testing JavaScript. If you're getting errors or having issues with it, this is where they'll end up. When you're first starting on the web, more than likely you'll spend a lot of time here in the HTML piece, because what this does is go through all the different pieces of your page. So if I hover over this div that says page, you can see I get this big blue square on top of my page. Let me move this down just a little bit so you can see a little bit more of it. Now I'll open up that div. And if I click on something in particular, here's the nav. You can see I get that blue. Can you see how it's blue and yellow stripe? And if you're unsure what it's highlighting, just move your cursor around and you'll be able to see it. But if I hover over an HTML tag, it shows me where that tag is in the browser. Now I can also go into the CSS piece to view some of the CSS information on the page. And I'm just in the Firefox piece. Let me go over to my website and show you the same thing. So I'll go ahead and open up Firebug. Here it is. And I'm in CSS. So this is a listing of all of the CSS rules for my website. But what's interesting is I can click this little arrow on the left hand side to inspect specific items within the page. So I've clicked on this. And as I hover over, you can see what it does is change the code information at the bottom of the page down in this area. And it shows me the HTML piece on the left and in the right over here, it's showing me the CSS at the same time. Move this over a little bit so you can see it a little bit better. And so as I hover over things, I can see exactly what the code is and what CSS has been applied to create that positioned element. So there's a lot of information within this area. You can even use it for debugging any Ajax applications, which are basically JavaScript app, uh, applications that you can add to your web page. And if you're getting any errors, 
you can have those errors sent to Firebug and the console within this, so you can try and figure out what might be causing those issues. So there's a lot of information in this Firebug extension, and it's a very handy piece. I think it's one you're going to want to make sure that you install within your web pages. And you can get to it through my website here under Browsers. Here's the Firebug link. It must be installed into Firefox specifically. So you want to make sure you have the Firefox browser first before you try and install Firebug. And that's the browser where you install it. So that is how you install and can take a look at and view elements on your page using Firebug.